Alright guys, what is up man? ELW92 back here and welcome to my um this is actually my favorite custom tracks. This is a, this video is just gonna be about basically my favorite custom tracks in CDGP or like Mario Kart Midnight, you know. It's 1 a.m. right now as of recording, so I apologize if um I sound tired or anything. I don't think I really sound that tired, so but yeah. Um Basically, I'm just going to be racing on, uh, I just picked eight of my favorite tracks from CDGP or slash Mario Kart Midnight, and, um, just going to be playing them, just showing them off, you know? Oh my gosh, I'm really bad at the shortcut, actually, right here. But yeah, this is the first track I picked. I picked New Moon Manor. This track's pretty special to me, you know? I, like, I actually used to, like, grind this on, like, time trials with, like, weird vehicles, like... I think I still have like the uh, New Moon Manor Blue Falcon world record just because like no one else did it but I actually kind of try hard at that but I just really like the overall theming of this track like it actually like low-key feels kind of scary so like I really like the vibe to it you know the book says like the, the thwomps right there really cool but just like the creativity on this track is insane um if you guys want me to do a part two to this video I can I could do one honestly like if you want to see more of my favorite custom tracks I'll be more than happy to do that because I love custom tracks but I'm not very good at them so you know there's that I'm actually destroying the CPUs right now I sent them the hard because I thought very hard would be like interfering I don't know all right let's see if I can get this shortcut I believe I have a tutorial on shorts on how to do this shortcut right here actually or maybe not how to do it all right i'm literally landing like right before there and this is 150 cc by the way so i should not really be having trouble with shortcuts i think that was my nano from last lap actually yeah you guys put your top top eight top top 10 favorite uh cts in the comments man cdgp midnight whatever you know i first started off playing cdgp about like mm, i think it's been almost two years now that i've uh played the old cdgp so but i'm on dolphin right now because Obviously, I can't record CDGP since I don't have a capture card, which is a little unfortunate, but luckily Mario Kart Wii Deluxe has all the tracks, so I don't know if they're the same versions, but it feels the same, so there's that for you. Alright, last lap, you know, this track is kind of like riddled with a few shortcuts. I want to show you a little, it's actually not really a shortcut on lap 3, probably most of you know about it, but... I never like really understood how it worked until like later on. All right, no way I just failed that 350. That's embarrassing. But basically, as you can see on the map, there's a little grayed out part of the mini map. And I used to always wonder how the heck you even get to it. But you know what? Right, can I dodge this? Nope. I used to wonder how the heck you get to it. And it's quite simple actually, but it's really more of a long cut. So like, I wouldn't do it online if I were you. Unless we had like a big lead and you were just like styling for fun and you know go for it. You don't even need a shroom for it, fun fact. Just go like this. Go like this, this jump. Oh, I failed it. Dude, why does my vehicle like feel like extra heavy today? I have no clue why. Yeah guys. This was New Moon Manor. And I'll see you guys on Concord Town. This track actually looks a thousand times better on Dolphin. This thing has like graphics problems on the Wii, I don't know, but um, I like to call this Delfino Square Part 2, essentially. It's literally like the same track, like the same exact like inspiration, essentially. It's kind of like um, uh, Delfino, uh, whatever it's called, I don't even remember. This is like this other custom track, and it's really similar to um, Delfino Pier. Like, 
it's, this is like the exact same as Delfino Score, but like, just like a different map. And I guess different colored water too. It's easy. And don't ask why I'm playing Rosalina. I just didn't feel like playing Daisy or BJ. I feel like playing Funky because I played him in the last video, so. I got all my textures on here from CDGP too, so. This is like basically practically the CDGP experience that you have. Just with better graphics. So I guess that's a plus. But honestly, my favorite like aspect of all these tracks is just like the creativity, like you know, basing like a track off of like Delfino uh Delfino Square, you already know it's gonna be a good track, you know? Like just by like the sound of it, you just know when you hear Delfino Square, you know that the CT is gonna be a W. Yeah, let me know in the comments too, guys. Like, do you agree with these selections or not? Like, do you think these tracks are terrible? Or do you think they're bodacious? I want to know. Because I'm, I'm very curious as to whether I have a uh, valid opinion on the tracks in CDGP and in Midnight or not. But I'm considering doing a part two to this though. I think that would be pretty epic, honestly. Just because of the sole fact that there's just so many tracks in CDGP, like picking like a top 10 is just so difficult. You know, I just picked eight random ones that I really love. Like these are all tracks I would 100% vote for, like in a worldwide. Oh, barely slipped over that. I think you can trick off that last thing, but there's Concord Town. Just basically Delfino Square copy paste, but changed up a little bit. Gotta love it, man. See you in race three, y'all. Alright guys, so this next track here is actually called uh Area 64. Some of y'all might have never seen it. I'm actually not aware if this track is in CTGP or not. It is definitely in Mario Kart Midnight because that's where I first played it. You gotta love it. It's like a little like alien, like sci-fi kind of, I don't know. It's very cool though. Like you're just like going through the fields, you know, you got UFOs. It's a little confusing at this sec sector right here, section first time I played it, I didn't know what I was doing right here. All right, I think if you go straight. Alright, hold up. Oh, wait. I wasn't even looking at the mini-map, so. Oh, it's right here. Sure, that's my bad. We can take these shrooms. Well, I guess they're like flying UFOs, I guess. You can hit them. You can hit the discs. And they're just like the mushrooms on Shroom Gorge, basically. This little ramp area here is kind of difficult on 200cc if you're not in a good vehicle. But it, it curves inward, so it's pretty nice, actually. But I'm curious as to how many of you guys have seen this track before. Because it's not like... I don't know how well known it is, but it's one of my favorites. Like... I personally don't really enjoy all the tracks in Mario Kart Midnight, but like, if I'm in a worldwide for Midnight, which I haven't been in a great deal of time, in a hot minute, I would vote for this track for sure. Like, no question, I would vote for this track. Alright, here we go. Up three. Gotta love the truck there with the cow on it. Movement Meadows. Ooh, Bowser's like right behind me actually. It's kind of surprising, honestly. I guess, yeah, there's a shortcut over there. 
good power dodge by me. And I'm getting blueberry pie. It's all good though. I'm gonna just take the regular section this time. Can you drive up that? I don't know. Yeah, this is my go-to for MK Midnight. So if you guys have the mod, I'd highly suggest playing this track because it is indeed a great one. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, you probably saw this one coming. It's kind of a no-brainer, honestly, to me. This track is just, honestly, it's epic. That's all I can describe it, really. I don't know who the creator of this track is offhand, but I think they've made um, other CTs too that are really good. Right, we have a golden first. I'm trying to decide as to where I want to use this. Can do a shortcut there. It feels like my vehicle really does have a little extra weight in this though. A little extra weight in this though. But um I don't know. I'm more of a mock bike player, obviously. I'm just gonna use this right here, honestly. Like I'm gonna show you guys, like there's so many routes you can go on this track. It's crazy. And there's even like an ending lap three shortcut. If you guys have never played this track before, which it's highly unlikely if you have CBGP because people spam it online, which isn't the best thing. Because I think some people are a little burnt out of playing this track just because the sheer brutalness of everyone voting for it online. And if you've never played it before, it's honestly kind of confusing, to be honest, but. You get the hang of it pretty fast. I, I know I got the hang of it because I would watch all, like, Troy's KO videos, you know? So, you just kind of, like, naturally, like, start to, like, understand, like, the map of the track, you know? I can't wait to get to the next track, though, in this video. Because that is one of my all-time favorites. And you guys probably already saw the video that's on my channel on it, so we'll see. You guys will see, rather. I'm trying to see if there's another path over there. I don't think there is. Alright guys, I'm gonna do a little exploring on lap 3 for y'all. Ooh, a little fancy right there. Dude, if I didn't make that, I would've been so mad. But yeah, here's a shortcut. Nah, yeah, I failed it. It's alright though. Well, I'm trying to go over this way, honestly. There's so many options on this track, it's kind of hard to make up your mind where you want to go and where you don't. You can do like this. See, I have no idea how to do the TF input. I just need to spend like some time and actually take the time to learn how to do the TF input. I've always found it challenging to some degree. You can even like go back here for some weird reason, like this exists. Apparently the CPUs take it, I guess, based on those manners right there. And then up here, there's another path back here, believe it or not. Which you would never think of it on, obviously, but there it is. Pretty cool, right? You can even hop over that. I guess, oh well, wait, I guess you can hop over the shortcut, I never noticed that, honestly. And then, lap 3 shortcut. Dude, there's something up with this, with this vehicle speed. 
I think this is actually 100cc, bro. I'm not even capping, guys. I think I'm on 100cc. Here we go. One of my all-time favorites. Jungle Blade, baby. I was crazy at time trialing this track in late January, bro. I was going crazy at it on 200cc. But the times on this track were actually good, so I didn't get anything, like, mind-blowing. But I was satisfied, though. So I put hours in the time trial, and I was up at, like, 3 a.m. Trying to grind this track. Don't get me wrong on that. I really think this is 100cc. I, I'm not even looking at the KMH. Yeah, this is 100cc. What am I... Bro. I don't know, that kind of ruins the video, low key. So I'll have to put that at the beginning of the video. Just a little disclaimer that this whole video is in 100cc. Alright, we got some shrooms though. It's fine. It's enough. Enough to win. We're just gonna have to take this extremely tight and forge. It's no problem for us though. Nor is the blue shell. It's of no concern. Lab three. 48 second lap. Ooh. Luckily, we got this shroom for the shortcut. Guys, the music with the scenery on this track is just beautiful. Like, this track is just so, like, physically appealing. So, why is Bowser Jr. driving to the wall there? That made no sense. Like, the whole jungle idea goes crazy, bro. I love it. Love everything about this track. Graphics definitely need a new overhaul, though. I will say that, but other than that, I'll say this track is honestly perfection. It's like a nice little Luigi circuit, relaxing track, the cool little shortcut. All right, so this track was actually one of the first tracks I ever played online for a CTGP, and you know, it just really stuck with me, honestly. The name, first of all, Sinister Bolt, it actually got taken out of CTGP, no clue why, but um, it's definitely very sinister, but the name just goes crazy first off. Um, second off, just love the theming, I mean, I can't even describe what this is, to be honest, but this track's hella fun. Honestly, that's all I gotta say. Got some straightaways. There's some shortcuts. Actually, not many shortcuts. Some interesting stuff with the boost panels like this. Come on. Low trick. This track has a very old, old, like, haunted kind of vibe. It's cool, though. Old, abandoned, you know. I don't know. It's just fun. This section right here, a little sketchy when you're doing the online play kind of thing. All right, this pal's about to ruin me. Can't lie. All right, that's not good. Let's see if I can get one of the low tricks on the logs again. Again, guys, let me know your opinions on my on my opinions of the uh, CTs. 
I shall say. I don't know, they probably took this track out of CGP because no one liked it, honestly. But I don't know. You never know. Maybe the author requested its removal. I was so sad when it first got removed. Because it was like one of the only CTs I first really got to know. I'm gonna go left path. It's like graffiti down here. Oh wait, I, 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 thought, I always thought that was off-road. Wait, that's actually pretty sick. I'm just discovering stuff on the fly. Nice tricks right there. There you have it. There's Sinister Boat. Alright guys, so the fact that we're on 100cc actually makes it so that, um... I cannot do the shortcut here, unfortunately. And I think that's why in uh, my short of me TTing this track, I don't make the shortcut. It's because I literally did everything perfectly, but I just didn't notice. I, didn't, I don't really look at the speedometer, but obviously I didn't make it because I'm 100 cc. 100cc sucks, bro. Nobody likes it. Nobody asked for it. But it's here anyway. So we have to deal with it anyway. What a spot to get TS. Gotta love the volcano theme, though. It goes crazy. Little Mario Raceway tunnel inspiration. Also, I was not aware that that thing already opened up lap 1 for 100cc. That's kind of crazy. That's the downside of these mods on Dolphin. When you run so many revolution patches at the same time, some of them like cancel each other out and I don't know. I find Mario Kart Weed Deluxe to be a little finicky, I guess you could say. I don't know, man. Alright, we're gonna hit the edge right here. Oh my gosh, I almost had that low trick in the bag, bro. Whoa, just flung me across the tunnel. Decent respawn, I suppose. Another blueberry pie, okay. I was drifting the wrong way anyway. I have no idea why I just did that. Just kind of felt like it, I can. Another blue shell, dude? Another blue shell, dude. How many is that now? Like four or five? And to close out the video, I'll be playing Garden of Dreams. Uh, this track, honestly, is just so beautiful. The colors are so vibrant. It's just amazing. It goes perfectly with my music, too, honestly. Christmas Concerto by Corelli. I'm so disappointed I'm on 100cc though, because that's why the Banish Keep, Mo New Moon Manor, and Lava Lake Shortcut didn't work. At least everything on this track is normal on 100cc, I think. Unless it's a little finicky up here, which I have a feeling it might be, potentially. Definitely a little finicky. This track kind of goes hard on 200cc because like the gate right here is like still closed kind of it's like you kind of like bump into it. it makes a little like thump sound it's pretty cool actually or like a more like a bang sound like hitting like a metal gate it's pretty cool good creativity yeah, do you guys like this track genuinely or nah 
Or is it just like Peach Gardens kind of? Because it's heavily based off Peach Garden, I'd say. I don't know though. Oops, I almost tricked the wrong way. Nanner. Let's try to keep the trade going down. Alright. Then I start drifting too soon, so I guess I have to wheelie after that. If you're on 100 CC. A little medieval castle vibe going on here too. Some stained glass. Hopefully the uh hopefully you guys are enjoying the uh, new 1440 quality of a uh, dolphin right now. I can't record in a 2K, even though it says, or 4K, rather, even though it says it's 4K, it's really not, it's only 1440 HD, it's because I have to export it as 4K, so, you guys probably know what I'm talking about, but, my computer can't record higher than 1440 on OBS, so, that's what we stuck with, but it's all good, though. Hopefully it's still enjoyable to watch and on the uh, less, you know. But yeah, guys, that'll be it for um, this will be it for the video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. It, um, this is probably a long one, but um, yeah, let me know what you think of my uh, custom track picks. Let me know if they're valid or not. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. ELW92 out, and peace.